And we begin this hour in Limpopo because President Silda Maposa and his Botswana counterpart, Mahwesi Masisi, will today visit the site of the bus crash that killed 45 people in the province. The St. Angana ZCC worshippers died at the Mamatakala Bridge between Marken and Mokopani. The bus was traveling from Khabironi, that's in Botswana, to Moria, outside Polokwane. An eight-year-old girl is the sole survivor of that devastating crash and has now been taken home. Let's get you a sense of what else we know. Our reporter Katle Khonyoni is watching developments and joins us now live from Mokopane. And Katle of course, it's still very sharply in our memory what took place on the eve of those Easter holidays. Take us through just how many bodies or at least remains have been positively identified now and in fact repatriated. Well, certainly, Ayanda, what we know is that the process to identify some of those remains that were retrieved following that horrific bus crash is going to be a rather lengthy and challenging process, as has been stated by officials. We know that some of those remains were bent beyond recognition when the bus they were traveling in careened off and plunged into that embankment on the Mamatala Road, on the R518 Road between Merken and Polokwane. We expect that it is going to be a lengthy challenge. Well, what we can tell is that about eight or so bodies were said to be positively identifiable. This is after, of course, a painstaking process. We are now at the Mohalakwena Council Chamber buildings in Mokopani, where President Sir Ramaphosa and his Botswana counterpart, Mokwezi Masisi, are expected to be a part of a closed session, a meeting, where we anticipate that they will be furnished with a report of some sort just to detail how far these investigations are. We know that all those 45 people People lost their lives initially when we received the information we were informed that it will be a painstaking process to identify those remains because some of them were bent beyond recognition at this particular moment that meeting is expected to get underway shortly after 10 a.m. that's what we expect but so far what we have seen at the Mahala Kwena municipal building is the presidential protection services vehicles have arrived security is quite heightened in this precinct well of course ahead of that meeting and in the afternoon we expect Expect the president, uh, the president, the two state, the, the two heads of states rather, to visit the Mamatakala Bridge to do an on-site inspection. Ayanda, and of course, um, the president's visits to that site, uh, Katleho, is not going to change the facts around what happened. But I imagine, just symbolically, can send quite a strong message. Certainly, it will be quite symbolic. You'd remember that immediately following this horrific crash where 45 ZCC St. Engenas pilgrims lost their lives, President Cyril Ramaphosa immediately conveyed words of condolences to the nation of Botswana, emphasizing that South Africa is also grieving. The site inspection to this particular bridge, Ayanda, will be quite symbolic as it's, it shows the relationship between the two nations. We expect that that uh, specific site inspection where they will try to get an idea of, you know, an accidental, uh, a, a report of how the accident in terms of reconstruction and how it occurred and how far the investigations are. We expect that visit to take place in the afternoon. This is where we might, as the media, have a, a, an opportunity, Ayanda, to doorstop the two heads of state for feedback in terms of what really transpired in this meeting. We know that experts will also be part of this meeting. These are experts from various departments, from various fields. We know that this identification process of the remains will be a rather lengthy one and it, it will involve a number of key stakeholders, scientists, forensic pathologists, as well as other investigators. We expect that we might conduct a doorstop interview with, pre with the two heads of state and at the uh, Mamatlakala Bridge, my colleague Pimani Balo will be standing by at that particular bridge where we anticipate that we might get an update of what transpired in this closed meeting. Ayanda? All right, Katlekho Nyoni, thanks very much indeed for that crucial update. Katlekho's live to us from Mokopani in Limpopo.